Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to attach a floor plan PDF to Writesoft. So that way we can start drawing the floor plan in Writesoft. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so to begin with, we need to know the grid. Okay, so if we, we see this area that is the, the right draw, okay? So let's go to drawing. So in drawing, we have the grid settings. In grid settings, we have these 12, 12, 12, 12. So the grids are every 12 inches, 12 by 12, and the snap is every 12 by 12 inches. So usually what I do preferably, I do six, 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 and six, and then we put okay. So we're fine with that, see? We have a better, a different type of uh, grid system in here, okay? So secondly, we have to go to this icon right here. It says PDF file. So from the PDF file, we're gonna click on it, and then it doesn't, nothing happens because after you click on it, the next step is to make your region. So see, you're gonna go here and drag. There we go. We already selected the region and automatically it's gonna tell you where to get this from. So personally, I have my floor plan in PDF in this folder. So I'm gonna put in here, I'm going to select the PDF folder and open. Okay, there we go. And actually, see, it's not the complete floor plan. So what we have to do is I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to extend this selection so that way the complete floor plan can be shown in the right draw. See, I'm still showing this, I'm still extending it and there we go. Okay, so finally we're able to see our floor plan. And once we see our floor plan, the next step is to scale it. Why is that so? Because the dimensions are not correct, are not the same. Okay, so in order to scale it, we need to find out a reference dimension. It's better to have an, a number that is not like this, 13 feet, 3 inches, 15. It's better to have an exact number, like for example this one. In here it says that this bedroom, bedroom number 2, is 10 feet, 10 inches wide and 10 feet zero inches tall like this so 10 feet is a very very good reference all right so let's go see what it is in order to see so what we need is the dimension from here to here has to be 10 feet let's check on that so in order to see that we're gonna go here which is dimension and then we're gonna click from here to here and since we haven't selected the scale yet automatically it's going to give us an option to select the scale okay let's go there see automatically says how big this is this is 11 so we don't need 11 we want that dimension to be uh, 10 but i'm not gonna do that yet because i'm gonna show you a quicker trick i mean if we want to go more precise for this time only, we're going to change the following. See, this is 11 inches, okay? So we're gonna make my grid system, grid settings into one, which is only to get the scale. And after we, we, we set the scale, we can always go back to six, no problem. But let's do it in one, okay? So since we go to one, we're gonna make sure that this is one, uh, this is gonna be 10 and this is gonna be precise, okay? So since we change our grid settings, we're gonna go here again to the dimension and then we're gonna measure from here to here. So this has to be 10 inches, okay? See, there is more precision. This is 11 feet, two inches, it's not 10. So we need to change that. But wait a minute, where is my pop-up window? We don't have a pop-up window anymore because after you import this PDF, it gives you the pop-up window. If you don't make the scale, it's not gonna give you that pop-up window anymore. So what happens is if you don't have that, you have to go here. If you go to this tree, you have building, you have PDF. Right now is working on the building. 
So you can only set the scale when you go to the PDF. So select the PDF right there. You are selecting the PDF and then you go again to dimension and then you want to make this dimension, see this dimension and hold shift. If you hold shift, see my dimension is going to go vertical or horizontal. Okay, see? I'm holding shift and it makes it horizontal. If I don't hold shift, it's going to be just, uh, you're going to have to guess vertical. Hold shift and it's going to uh, put you in, in a vertical mode or horizontal mode. See, horizontal or vertical or 45. Okay, since we have that, there we go. Oh, now it's showing the select object scale. Why? Because we are on the PDF, PDF, working on the PDF. So. The dimension is 11 feet. The desired dimension, you want it to be 10. So let's put 10 and you say, okay, perfect. Okay, once you have 10, now you can always measure this and make sure that this is 10, see? There we go, it's 10 inches. Now, if you wanna verify the other dimensions, let's go check. Okay, so right now PDF is not selected. So now we're gonna go check on on the other dimensions. For example, this has to be 13 feet, 8 inches. So let's click in here. Let's hold shift. So it's horizontal. So there we go. It's 13 and when a little bit more or less 13, 8 inches and we go back. It's not that precise, but at least there is some accuracy on this. So that's why we can we that's why we we can work on the six by six grid, grid system. It's, n it's never precise, but this is the most precise we can go. But if you are a little bit picky and then you are saying no, I want this to be like that. Well, let's try to do it again. Why not? Let's start from zero again. Let's become picky again. So number one you go to the PDF, right? There is the PDF. Okay, see, if the PDF is selected, then we are able to do a scale. So in the scale, I'm going to press on the dimensions and you want this scale right here. See, I'm holding shift, so it's, uh, it is horizontal only. There we go. Okay, so you want that dimension to be 13 feet, a, 13 feet 8 inches. So that would be maybe 13.7. Okay, there we go and you hit okay okay no problem so see now you have 13 feet 8 inches how about if we check on the other side let's go check on the other side and let's see here i'm gonna show you another trick too if you don't want to keep on dragging you're go and if you want to see these dimensions to change if you Try, if you press the arrow to the left, this dimension is going to go to the left. See, left. If you press right, this dimension is going to go to the right. See, right arrow to the right. But if you hold shift, see, hold shift and then press arrow to the right, it's going to increase, going to the right. The same thing, hold shift, press arrow to the left. It's going to decrease in size. Look at this. That's a marvelous uh, a trick. Okay, so you want it to be this 13 and three, 13 feet and three inches. And now I'm gonna move it to the side. See, as you can see, this is 13, three inches. All right. So now because we imported and this is very well scaled, let's go in checking here again. So you click in here and see, I can I cannot drag this dimension. Why? Because I'm when I click, the PDF gets selected. So if that is a problem, then go lock the PDF. The PDF is right here, lock it. So go hover over this hand and double click. If you double click, do you see the lock? There is a lock in there, so which means it's locked. It's not going to select the PDF anymore. So that's a very good trick because now I can select my dimension right here. It's not going to select the PDF. Okay, so go to the dimension. And as you can see, this is 10 feet. So this actually is good to go. So that way I could start drawing over my... Uh, my rooms, my overall floor plan, so I could do the heat load calculation. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. All right. 
Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.